So we will talk a little bit about systems, the theory of systems and how systems could be related to transmission storytelling. First of all, there are uh, uh, different definitions of systems, but for sure everybody has a kind of understanding about what a system means. So since Aristotle we could uh, um, already understand system as an assemblage of parts that are forming a unified whole. So it's not just dispersed parts, but parts that are somehow organized, that are put together in a way that they are forming a whole. So the parts are not isolated, the parts are somehow uh, interrelated and this will form a system which is definitely more than just the sum of the parts, exactly because of these relationships, this integration, uh, uh, interrelation that can happen between in between the, the elements of the system and also between the system itself and its environment. So, I work with uh, a definition of system uh, from the general theory of system from uh, Mario Bungi, an Argentinian uh, scholar. So, Mario Bungi will tell us that a system is consisted of uh, three elements. So first we have the components, so the set of elements that will form the system. Second, we have the environment, so the space in which these elements are inserted. And then third, we have what he called the, the structure, which means uh, the, the relations between the components, so the set of elements, and the environment. Um, so, how we could uh, relate this to transmit storytelling? Transmit storytelling as a system would also have all these elements. So the parts of the story itself, the parts of the project itself, and how this project would be related to the public, how the audience would have a contact um, with these elements. Né? So the, the audience as, as the environment né? in which uh, these elements would be uh, uh, dispersed and entered. And then this relationship would bring us different kinds of structures. No? Uh, mainly that we will talk today is about interaction and participation. So the, the logic of uh, the theory of systems um, is like a matryoshka, like a Russian doll. So we have uh, actually a super system that has systems inside and each system has subsystems inside and so on and so forth. So this is the logic of the theory of systems and this is what uh, I propose to apply to transmit storytelling. So, if we consider transmit storytelling as a super system, what would be the systems inside? No? So, for example, the story itself, the platforms, no, the media platforms involved, the audience relationship, the business model, uh, all the elements that are part of a transmedia project would be considered here as the components, as the set of elements of the super system called transmedia storytelling. And all these elements would be related to the environment. And the environment, in this case, would be the community 
of people interested into this project. No? The, the, the community of people that would somehow be in touch with this uh, transmedia project. And then as the structure, we would have the ways people would be related to these elements of the story. And here we have interaction and participation. So, interaction, what does it mean? There is still uh, lots of confusion about what is interaction, what is participation. Sometimes they are used as synonyms, but they are not. So, interaction is uh, the possibility for, for the audience to interact, to do something. So, for example, to click here, to click there, to choose the path they are going to experience, for example, um, interactive documentary on, on, on the computer. Um, so they can choose to start here or to start from here or to skip this part and go direct to that. They can choose to click here, watch a video, to click there, read a text. So they can interact, but they are not changing the story. They are not changing the, the, the project. So the authors, the producers already did everything. And what people can do in the case of interaction, they can relate to it, they can uh, choose, they can uh, um, uh, navigate through it uh, uh, according to what they are interested to, but they cannot influence on the story itself. They are not collaborating, they are interacting. But when we talk about participation, is different because participation is the real possibility for people to do something, to somehow influence on the results of the project, to somehow uh, uh, shape the story uh, in a way that without the audience collaboration this would not happen. Huh? So here we are talking about co-creation collaboration. So people somehow can interfere in the result and the whole project will be um, uh, shaped according to what the audience is doing. So we can have user-generated content so that when, when the audience can um, create something and upload, for example, or when we have um, voting, casting, so people are deciding uh, who is going to do that, what is going to happen, these kinds of uh, things. So participation is about the opportunity for people to really uh, influence on the results to collaborate and co-create, and interaction is more the opportunity to somehow be in touch with it, but not being able to um, have an impact on the final result. So, if we come back to the idea of super system, Transmedia Storytelling as a super system, we would have the systems. Now, as I mentioned, it, the story, the platforms, business model, etc. So, let us take one example. Let's take the story as a system inside the super system. So, now we have the story as a system. So, what are the components? So, the set of elements uh, um, inside the system. Well, we would have the plot itself, we would have the characters, we will have the location, the time frame of the story, etc. And how about the environment? So again, we would have the community of people that are in touch, that are interested in this story. And then as the structure, so the relationship between people and the, the story itself, we would have again the possibility, for example, to have interaction or participation. And again, if we think about 
the story as a system, we could take some elements as subsystems. So let's take the characters, for example. So the characters are subsystem of the system story. And then, okay, here we have the characters. What are the elements related to the characters? Well, we have the demographics, we have the psychographics, and all the background uh, of the character, etc. Then, as the environment, we have the story world in which the character uh, is inserted. And then we have as the relationship, how uh, integrated and how connected these uh, uh, characters are in relation to the story world. So it is uh, a matter of uh, not hi hierarchy in the sense that one comes first, other comes second, and one is more important than another, but the idea of the Russian doll in which all these systems, subsystems, and super systems are together integrated to offer the audience a more a meaningful and uh, enriching experience.